We know, O Lord, of life and love about the need. Touch our hearts anew with love, that we too may love and give. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Today we're going to be working with an amazing stream of energy that we call the sixth ray. So I suggest we get united as a group with energies of love and light and will to good. We visualize a beam of light in the middle of our group. And uniting as one being, we see seven floating radiant lotuses, the centers of our group. We unite in them. We see the heart center of the group. Connecting with the heart center of the new group. Visualize the triangle hierarchy, Shambhala, and humanity. And within that presence, we start our work. But first, we're going to touch upon the definitions of the sixth ray. Special virtues. It's called the sixth ray of devotion. Special virtues, devotion, single-mindedness, love, tenderness, intuition, loyalty, and reverence. The vices of the ray is selfish and jealous love, overleaning in others, partiality, self-deception, sectarianism, superstition, prejudice, overrabbit conclusions, and fiery anger. And virtues to be acquired, strength, self-sacrifice, purity, truth, tolerance, serenity, balance, and common sense. This is called the ray of devotion. 
The man who is on this ray is full of religious instincts and impulses and of intense personal feeling. Nothing is taken equally. Everything in his eyes is either perfect or intolerable. His friends are angels. His enemies are very much the reverse. His view in both cases is formed not on the intrinsic merits of either class, but on the way the persons appeal to him, or on the sympathy or lack of sympathy which they show to his favorite idols. Whether this is to be concrete or abstract, for he is full of devotion, and maybe to a person, it may be to a cause. He must always have a personal God, an incarnation of deity to adore. The best type of his reign makes the saint, the worst type, the bigot or fanatic, the typical martyr, or the typical inquisitor. All religious wars or crusades have originated from sixth ray fanaticism. The man on this ray is often of gentle nature but he can always flame into fury and fiery war. He will lay down his life for the objects of his devotion or reverence, but he will not lift a, lift a finger to help those outside of his immediate sympathies. As a soldier, he hates fighting, but often when roused in battle, fights like one possessed. He is never a great statesman, I'm sorry, Yes, he's never a great statesman, nor a good businessman, but he may be a great preacher or orator. The sixth ray man will be the poet of the emotions, such as Tennyson, and the writer of religious books, either in poetry or prose. He's devoted to beauty and color and all things lovely, but his productive skill is not great until, unless under influence of one of the particular artistic race, the fourth or seventh. His music will always be of a melodious order, and he will often be the composer of oratories or sacred music. The method of healing for his ray would be the faith and prayer. And the way of approaching the path would be the, by prayer and meditation, aiming at union with God. Now, it's um, on one hand easy, and at the same time, it's not easy. The sixth ray, presence. Because we, for almost 2,500 years, lived in this presence. By seeing age is now coming to an end. And it is time for us to see what's done and what's not done by humanity, what's acquired and not acquired. We definitely got very good about having our personal gods. And um, being really intolerable to one another <clears throat> about the truths and rights, but at the same time, certain virtues are being acquired. The love of truth is becoming more and more present in our life. Serenity and balance. And I would say that if we talk about new group of world service, the common sense is becoming 
lower minimum that we stand on. Because from that common sense, is a short pathway to the intuition, which we dearly need. One of the um, most interesting beings that are transmitting the sixth ray to our planet are two great beings that we call Mars and Neptune. There are two planets on the sixth ray, and um, Mars is the lower aspect. Well, I would think that it helps us with the developing of the low aspect of the sixth ray. And then Neptune, a sacred planet, the heart of Christ. Our amazing aid in the sense of reaching the plane that we call buddhic plane. A planet that was once, as we told, a solar logos of a different system, now is with us and helping. So when we meditate on the qualities of the sixth ray and recognize it within ourselves, relating to those great beings would be very helpful. We're now in Jerusalem. I would say that over here, you can sense the qualities of, the highest qualities of the sixth ray very easily and the lowest qualities of the sixth ray very easily. But I wanna to focus today on the mystery of life of Master Jesus. We did walk the path that we all share. We all share in our life. Sixth ray, Pisces, the energy of saviors. So whenever we recognize that energy within us and connect with it, we feel that heartbeat of everyone, of the great ones that walked with, with this planet before us. And if we think of colors, We think of light blue and rose colors. Alice Bailey said that lords of the rays are not perfect because they are tinted with color. And of course that great imperfection of gods is of little understanding to us. But if when we look the dawn or the dusk. With those amazing colors of the sky or colors of waters. We can set that energy aligned with it and bring it into our consciousness and into our life in a way that is According to our goals of the soul. So 
So let's meditate.
from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh.